booming thunder radio where we groove as the spirit moves yeah drawing the honey from the rock with the righteous reverend doctor on booming Welcome back, mighty friends, to the show that will never end until the appointed time has come. Has your time come? Who's that knocking on your door? It's got to be a quarter to four. No, it's about a quarter after five. So you're about 30 minutes late for all this goings on, y'all. It's locking yourself up for two weeks. and Just think about all those that have no hope. All they have is fear of the destruction coming forth for they know not the way of truth for they've been raised in a world full of lies and this unseen war of the worlds that we are in this death angel that comes at the Passover when all the pagans, still blind by their desires, feast at the table drinking wine and eating pig flesh. Oh, this old wicked world's been turned upside down on its head, has it not, mighty friends? Have you prepared for the treasured day that day of salvation, that day when the, when the Messiah, yea, the Hebrew king of the Sabbath day, when he comes and enters into your heart and refreshes you, forgives you, strengthens you, heals you, treasures you, and sends you on the way six more days to speak his word that his faithful servants in the earth unseen would bring forth the word of a righteous man, a lover of the truth, and not a workman of lies and deception. You know who you are. Wickedness. And there is much evil and much wickedness in the earth. Have you evil in your heart? Or do you have a hope of glory, the hope of the living Mashiach indwelling within your heart? For we cannot save ourselves. We can only go a way that seems right to us and fall into the pit. There is but one who can save us. Yea, the only one that can save us from ourselves. He is unseen in this world. He can only manifest by the faith and hope. Yea, that brings forth true love. 
in the things unseen. Yeah, the things that are first in the natural reveal the things that are spiritual and the way few find the narrow path. Well, mighty friends, I'm Brother T.C., the humble sysop of the Elijah Ministries. We've been at work in the garden, preparing the soil and the seed. Yeah, and the greenhouse is full. Yeah, and blossoms Seek forth the honey bee to find them and go deep inside to fulfill their pollination. Are you a true believer of Mystery Babylon? Or you have no idea what Mystery Babylon is? Mystery Babylon is the evil in the earth. And those that are blind to it, they are its dinner. You see, for the Bible teaches us that evil will slay wickedness. So if you are wicked, if you fear not the one true creator, if you accept not this gift of an unseen truth and live your life and step in breath every moment to find this truth, the way you will find. Will you find it, mighty friend? Will you even look? For God delights in concealing a matter. For he knows that it is the honor of kings and priests to search a matter out. Will you search out the matter? Today's living word comes to us from Zechariah. The last two chapters is what pierced the page before your humble bondservant this day. But when we open the page and turn to find the number of the piercing, Our eyes were directed to 12. And we read chapter 12 of Zechariah. And when we did that, we knew we had to come on live and share the last three chapters of the book of Zechariah Yeah, so that your faith, your little mustard seed of hope in your heart, that this death angel that is coming, this is the last week of Daniel. Next week at this time, the death angel will come for the firstborn children. Yeah, wickedness will be slain by evil. And the death angel appears to all to work evil. But it is the will of the everlasting he has been entrusted to.
the mystery Babylon. This world unseen is twisted and corrupted at all. Yeah, every step and breath the media this world puts forth is a lie. Yeah, like April Fool's Day and the War of the Worlds in 1938. Yeah, it's just a testing of the people to see how much control... And yeah, take the ones we want, leave the rest suffering. Let it never be for the righteous and those written in the Lamb's Book of Light. Yea, that book of life that is bound for full of light. Yeah, let us lift our cup in remembrance of him who creates all, the faithful son who gave his life that on this day you could learn the mystery of heaven. In this last week, Before the death angel returns, you might prepare yourself. You might humble yourself. You might begin to forgive yourself and become not a sacrifice of mutilated flesh seen in this world, but an everlasting moment, yea, that is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as this moment, yea, in and out of the gate, with the Mashiach, who is the door, all those who have a system that come in and out of the gate some other way only steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. May our prayers for mirroring and magnifying the inequity force those blinded by their lustfulness, their worship of Luciferianism and the occult and things we won't mention. The seven and the ten. You know who you are and you know your time is short. So before we begin, let's take a quick little peek. At the strong man's number. So let's go into our brother Thea's book. And plug in the Greek 1491. And we see that the Thea definition of Eidos, Ia, Ia, Dos, some would say Dos, O. The Thea definition, the eternal or outward appearance, a form, a figure, a shape, a form or a kind. Yeah. Like all seed, they produce in kind. This is the way of the Father. If we look at the complete word study, it means G1491. 
means to see. The act of seeing, the the thing seen, external appearance. Metaphorically, our future bliss has yet no visible appearance or form, but it has sight. The object of sight, of form, appearance. Yeah, let's, let's touch on Luke. Yeah, our treasured son. Nine and twenty-nine. And while he was praying, the appearance, there it is. The appearance of his face became different and his clothing became white and gleaming. Hallelujah. Has that happened to you yet? Have you ever seen that happen up on the hill? Oh, I think a few of you have. The visible appearance of things which are set in contrast to that which directs faith. Meaning that the believer is guided not only by what he beholds, but by what he knows to be true, though unseen. Or it could be in the form, not of goodness, but of evil, such as we see in First Thessalonians 5 and 22, to abstain from every, there it is, form of evil. So using it to even see the evil and the good. So let's look at the Hebrew 1491. In the Greek, or excuse me, in the Hebrew, H 1491 in the word study. It means to take or to cut. Referring to the cutting of the umbilical cord such as we see in Psalm 71 and 6 by you I have been sustained from my birth you are he who took me from my mother's womb my praise is continually of you yeah did you catch 1491 there It was the took. You are he who, 1491, took. From my mother's womb, that means a cutting of the umbilical cord. Yea, let your umbilical cord be cut this day. May your fruit be a bountiful harvest for the one who walks along the way. The old brown driver Briggs to cut off, sever, yea, now, is that a pile of flesh on the old altar, the old slab of brisket on the fire, the old long horn blown from the rooftop? Well, let's see what the ancient Hebrew lexicon Bible has to say. So, 1491 is in the ancient Hebrew lexicon Bible, 1053. And um, the root is the pictograph of the foot, which has a meaning of lifting and the mattock, an agricultural implement for harvesting or cutting. The shearing and removal of the wool flees from the sheep for clothing, as well as the cutting of other materials with one stroke. 
Yeah, umbilical cord set free. Come out of mystery Babylon. Don't condemn your family. Don't be foolish in this day and time. Be faithful to the word. The word is truth. And there is but one teacher. And he is not a man. He is unseen in the earth. It is the spirit of truth. Yahoshua HaMashiach. Yea, the one that gave his life. That the Father could send this comforter, this spirit, this, this truth. Yea, to indwell within righteous men that they can teach their family, yea, that they can put this love into their bride, that they themselves can become as the bridegroom with the spirit of truth indwelling within. This third temple the world lusts for, it is them themselves, the housing the indwelling place for the Mashiach to live and reign in the earth like a cloud from above. Yeah, shearing the sheep for the fleece. Yeah, shearing the grasses off with the sickle. Ye, the sickle and the hewn stone. Ye, stones are sheared also with one blow to form flat sides. Ye, the sheep shearer, the stone mason, the shearing of a nut tree. Yeah, oh, candy pecan in the full light of day. So let us move to this spirit of truth that gives salvation through faith. Faith alone. Not by works, lest any man should boast. Yes, yeah, salvation comes from the Jews, mighty friend, those that love the Father but are blind to the truth, for they love the lie, they love nature. The creation more than the creator. Don't you make that mistake. Worship only him who created us. And he will open the door unto you. Where each day could be as a thousand years. And a thousand years could be each day with him. In a world beyond imagination. Yeah, Yahoshua HaMashiach will give each of us salvation. Yahovah, the one true God. Yeah, the one we are the image of. Him and his son that he gave this world to Create faithfully for the Father. So let us begin. Let us part the Red Sea and 
sniff the air, the scent of the ocean, as we stand in the brisking waves that lapping at our feet and the whirling wind in our hair and the sand clutching in the toes of our feet. Zechariah 12 and 1 The burden, yea, the burden of the word The burden of the word. Do you have the burden of the word, my dear friend? The burden of the word of my dear Yehovah concerning Israel. He declares Yehovah who stretches out the heavens, lays the foundation on the earth. Yea, the foundations of the earth informs the spirit of man within him. Do you understand? Behold, we are going to make Jerusalem a cup that causes reeling to all the peoples around. And when the siege is against Jerusalem, it will also be against Yehuda. It will come about in that day that Yahushua HaMashiach, the faithful servant, the one who creates all for Mary Yehovah in the earth, He will make Jerusalem a heavy stone for all the peoples. All who lift it will be severely injured, and all the nations of the earth will be gathered against it. Do you hear? And in that day, declares Mariahova, he will strike every horse with bewilderment, and his rider with madness. But Yehovah will watch over the house of Yehuda. Yehovah will strike every horse of the peoples with blindness. Do you hear? Grappling in the night like Sodom and Gomorrah. Then the clans of Yehuda will say in their hearts, A strong support for us are the inhabitants of Jerusalem through Yehovah of hosts, their God. In that day, the mighty existing father will make the clans of Yehuda like a fire pot among pieces of wood and a flaming torch among sheaves so they will consume on the right hand and on the left all the surrounding peoples while the inhabitants of Jerusalem again dwell on their own sites in Jerusalem. Yea, the existing one also will save the tents of Yehuda first. Do you hear? He does this so that the glory of the house of David, yea, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem will not be magnified above Yehuda. In that day, the existing one will defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the one who is feeble 
among them in that day will be like David and the house of David like God, like the angel of Yahovah before them. And in that day, the existing father will set about to destroy all the nations that come about against Jerusalem. The existing father will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem the spirit of grace and of supplication so that they will look on the Father's faithful Son, whom they have pierced, and they will mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they will weep bitterly over him like the bitter weeping over a firstborn. Yea, when the death angel comes, Will you be passed over or will you be eating Sunday spiral cut ham causing the earth's eyes to be blind that yours could be opened moving in and out of the beast of the earth, the fowls of the air the fish of the sea. Yea, may the creeping things, may Yehuda and the twisting and the calling in the darkness be found in the light. that the death angel would not take your firstborn son for what you have done unrepented for this great gift you denied grieving the spirit the unpardonable sin In that day, there will be great mourning in Jerusalem, like the mourning of Hadadrimon in the plain of Megiddo. So this Hadadrimon is H1910. In the old brown driver Briggs had died of the pomegranates, a place in the valley of Megiddo where a nation, where a national lamentation was held for the death of King Josiah, named after two Syrian gods. Hmm. A Dremon pomegranate. The land will mourn every family by itself. The family of the house of David by itself. And their wives by themselves. The family of the house of Nathan by itself and the wives by themselves. The family of the house of Levi by itself and their wives by themselves. The family of the Shimeites by itself and their wives by themselves. 
So the the land will mourn and every family by itself. Yea, the family of David, the family of Nathan, the family of Levi, and the family of the Shimeites. Shimei in Hebrew means renowned. So the renowned family, Levi as we know, means joined to. So let's let's do a little word study on these names. Okay, so we have the land will mourn and every family, so family is H4940, which is as joined to a mistress, a maid, a handmaiden, ancient Hebrew lexicon, definition, a family joined together, come together right now, over we, yeah. Yahushua HaMashiach, in each one of our hearts, the fathers, the bridegroom that comes and indwells within each son, that he can pierce the veil of his bride's heart and circumcise her heart. And then the two together, walking through the final veil before the Ark of the Covenant, Humbling themselves, yea, like the cherubim above the ark. Yea, they guard the gate into the garden. All the families that remain. Every family by itself and their wives by themselves. The spirit of grace will be poured out on those and the spirit of mourning which will you receive will you weep bitterly over him who was pierced or for yourselves? So I'll let you be faithful because being faithful is more desirable than a sacrifice. Do you hear? Be faithful to the word. Each day read your portion freely given, Zechariah 13 and 14, and pray that the spirit of truth would teach you the mystery for this day to learn that the natural things would come first and reveal the spiritual things that are everlasting. So be faithful every day and follow along. Play the song. Hear the message. Yea, the message today is Hebrew Pi 21. I'll let you look up the sum of 343 in the Strong's word study, the Hebrew and the Greek, and see how the mystery of heaven has been sown in your heart. Yea, may the mustard seed sprout and bring forth a bountiful harvest with Hebrew pie 21. 
the tools he puts into our minds. You see, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift, and the rational mind is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Ye, a man who received the wisdom of God, revealed it. Ye, with a big E on the end of his last name. A. A bride comes before the altar. Yea, each and every day, passing through the hoopah, we receive the ruach as we walk along the way. We come forth in the early hours as the new blushing bride. Let us gather the fruit seen of the Spirit, inviting in those worthy to come inside. Yahovah! walks with us in the sun along our sides. The door that leads into the tent, the words sprouting in the tabernacle of our minds. The revolution comes from the revelation, the tools he puts into our minds, cutting and grinding his throne from the ocean of crystal humanity since the beginning of time. Casting the rainbow through the shield of David, brought forth by the rain coming down in our time, uniting the righteous ones, pulling thorns from the paws of Yehuda's men, Raising their baskets, the Yahovah will feel the time of the harvest is finally being heralded in. Hallelujah. Oh, to gather and secure, this is the mission. To gather acorns under the mighty oak left by him. A bride in completeness bringing the sheep within the fence that Satan's weapons will have no effects upon them. A family now gathered, let us be sacrificed with him. Ye, a living sacrifice seen by blind mortal men. Our high priest and chief pulls back the veil, revealing the door within your mind, mighty friend. Yea, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God comes without observation. Neither shall they say, Here it is, or No, there it is. For the kingdom, yea, the kingdom of God is within you. <laughs> 